In this video, I got a penny stock under a 5 million market cap and a spokesman for this company on the NASDAQ under a 5 million market cap actually has about 170 million followers on Instagram, a very, very famous person. Most of you will recognize this person in this video that is a spokesman for this company that has advertised their products in the past. We got to go over that. They have Catalyst coming up, a product launch, and also... At the very end of the video, I have a few penny stocks and something interesting has been going on lately where a lot of beaten down IPOs, some OTC stocks have been actually putting out on Twitter or in a PR of some sort on their social media pages that they're basically hinting that some sort of news is coming soon or there's conferences coming soon. And I want to go over at the end what, the, what stocks I'm talking about and what stocks have potential upcoming news in the near future, according to the company. Now, Small caps are still hot. You may have noticed ticker FRZA run 160% today. This is a tiny beaten down IPO that hit the market around the time when MEGL, HKD, and GCT hit the market. FRZA is, FRZA is not a China stock, but it had a huge run today. This 100% this move was caused by a tweet posted by the company after hours Friday teasing something is coming. They didn't really even drop news. They posted a tweet saying, get ready for something extraordinary and a hashtag electric boat. So they're probably going to reveal some sort of electric boat soon. And uh, keep in mind, there's a good chance that this could actually be a, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news situation for FRZA. I'm not, you know, suggesting FRZA and by any means, I'm using it as an example of what's been going on in the market lately. There's a good chance that unless the news is crazy when they drop it, that people basically buy the rumor when they posted this tweet to get that big run. And then when the news actually drops, they go ahead and sell it on the volume coming in from people, buy, potentially you know, new investors or whoever, buying when they actually drop the news. So they get that, so they can get some volume to sell their stock. That's what happens in the market. Now, you most likely didn't see this FRZA tweet when they initially posted it at four o'clock because uh, FRZA Twitter page only has 300 followers. So most of you are not following this Twitter page, but thanks to MN Investing in the private Discord, he alerted this tweet at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time on a Friday last week, very early after hours, a huge opportunity right there. That was good for a 106% move. You can follow MN Investing on Twitter as well, but I highly, highly suggest getting in the Discord right now so you can get these alerts, notifications sent straight to your phone of these big, big time news runners. Now, I was I, I covered DXF yesterday as a potential early momentum trade opportunity, and I was able to nail that one. It moved 44% in pre-market alone, but of course, it ended up dipping due to the 85% move it made in just two trading days. So a lot of these stocks, when they have those big runs, they like to pull back down. That's why penny stock traders like to take profit when they're getting these big runs, even small hits are big wins. They add up over time, in my personal opinion. I posted DXF as a trade idea in the Discord at 11.55 a.m. Eastern Time on June 2nd, which was Friday last week. If you timestamp it, that's an 85% move from the post to the high that we got pre-market this morning. If you can still not trade pre-market and after hours, you're crazy, by the way, but you can see this blue box. I mean, there's an enormous amount of time. There's an enormous amount of runs in the small cap market where it's happening pre-market and after hours. So this is regular trading and this is pre-market. You could call it a you know, massive move just in pre-market this morning alone. Some people might have caught that move and then they were done trading for the day. That's what people do. You need to be able to trade pre-market and this new Moo Moo promotion is the, it started just today. It's a perfect opportunity to take that next step, get some free stocks and starting today, if you click my link with the link in the top pinned comment, and deposit $100 after clicking my link, signing up through my link, you're going to get five free stocks, a $100 cash reward, and one free share of C3AI. Huge rewards there. And then if you deposit $5,000 total, you get one share of Tesla or Google. So click the link down below for more details on this promotion. But read it here. I mean, this is an absolute huge, huge offer. I've never seen something like this from Mumu or any other company. So definitely sign up for Mumu. You got to use my link though. Now, for DXF, that move, pre-market, that's really the move we were looking for. But 
it, it, it's interesting because some China stocks continue to stay somewhat hot today. One of the retail favorite China stocks, TOP, is up 30% today. You're going to want to watch if this China hype does continue. Maybe you see MEGL move. Maybe you see HKD, something like that. And it brings back the China hype. Maybe you see top continue to move. They're very risky plays. But you want to kind of look at the ones that are big retail favorites to see if other smaller cap Chinese stocks are going to move with them. Now, DXF has support at 20 cents, mid 18 cents, and mid 16 cents. Now, keep an eye on DXF, although that pre-market move, like I said, was really the move we were looking for out of DXF, but you may still be interested in it. You got to wait for it to set up once again. I also covered SNTG in yesterday's video that gave a nice, but it was but a quick early pre-market move of 28%. SNTG is still overall in a downtrend right now. And like I said yesterday, this is not one I was looking at to break this downtrend. You know, today, for example, I was looking at it for, for it to break that downtrend sometime in the near future. Like I said, not necessarily today. It's possible to see SNTG test $2.20 support before trying to break out of this downtrend. Maybe it takes about three to four days. Maybe it takes about a week. Maybe it doesn't break out of it, but I still like the setup on this one. No dilution. SNTG has a 1 million float, and I'll be still watching SNG, SNTG all week, especially if these China stocks continue to stay hot. Now, I discussed BRSH yesterday, and, and it made a notable move during regular trading hours rather than just pre-market. It was a 33 potential opportunity just today alone. I believe BRSH has more potential, not guaranteed. Remember, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock in this video going over catalysts, potential runners, but... Everything cannot act, is not guaranteed to actually happen, but BRSH does have more catalysts coming up from reading their recent PRs. For example, they have a conference tomorrow, June 6, and then they have a product line set to launch sometime in June. Something interesting to note about BRSH is Kevin Hart is a spokesperson for BRSH. Kevin Hart was promoting the product multiple times on the BRSH TikTok page, and Trader John on Twitter is speculating here about the potential that Kevin Hart could advertise the product once again. That is pure speculation on his end, but it's something interesting because he does have 176 million followers on Twitter. They got a product launch coming soon. Maybe they bring back Kevin Hart for another advertisement when they drop those products or maybe at the conference, something like that. That is speculation, but Regardless, if they don't bring them back, we still have catalysts for BRSH that a two or three million market cap, a 10 million float. It has a lot of potential on that those news drops. Now, BRSH did slightly right here break out of the downtrend today. What we would like to see is BRSH post some exciting news when they launch their product to get, you know, a nice push fully out of this downtrend and get a nice push to the upside. While it has a good chance to, you know, have a nice breakout on the chart. So if you get a get some good news and it really breaks out with volume, it could really have a nice run. Like I said, nothing is guaranteed. I know I say that a million times, but I want to drill that in your head. These are risky penny stocks. Now, there's support at 30 cents, 28 six, 27 cents and 25 cents. Do I see it getting down to 25 cents? Not necessarily. Do I see it getting to around mid 27s before their news to fill that gap? Potentially, could it just break out and they drop news soon? Potentially, could it just tank? That could also happen too. You got to be prepared for anything. But I do look at BRSH as a potential opportunity in the market right now. Now, let's talk about C3AI. It made a nice move back over $35 today. We are not seeing the same big small cap AI runners like we used to when C3 rips, but there has been one that I covered a few times recently that's been on a constant uptrend. That ticker is ticker MVLA. I covered MVLA, actually, I think it was just two weeks ago, not two months ago, it was two weeks ago. That's, that's what that's meant to say right there, going over the fact that Tesla is one of their customers. In that video, I said, look for a pullback. We got that pullback after the video the next day. And then ever since it pulled back, it's been on the rise for a potential 78% return. MVLA right now is the strongest AI small cap. And usually the strong ones are the ones that really run 
if the sector gets real hot, like if C3AI goes back to 40, for example, I could see MVLA going with it and maybe even higher. MVLA's technology powers the AI for Tesla's, you know, robots. This alone, the fact that MVLA's technology is being used by Tesla for their robots, that alone gives the company extreme potential in my eyes. And I hope to hear more updates on this aspect of the company in the future, although we don't know if that's going to happen. Now, here are a bunch of small cap and OTC stocks that these companies told us they have updates, you know, conferences or news coming in the future, in the near future. Keep in mind, when a company tells us beforehand that there is news coming, the news has to be really good to make this stock absolutely run when they actually post that news. If it's not exciting, then shareholders may just sell the news on the volume it gets when they post the news. In many cases, the bigger run can come leading up to the news rather than when they actually post the news. Now, First one, ticker ZVSA. Now, this is not a big catalyst. It could turn into a big catalyst. Sometimes companies drop news when they participate in a conference. Most of the time, they don't. But ZVSA had a 7.6 million market cap. This has a lot more DD to it than just this conference. I like this overall play. I'm swinging it. I like it. It's at a 12.36 million float. They're participating in a conference from June 5th to June 8th. We really need more updates on Zia VSA for this one to get any real momentum, but I think we should be able to get some in the near future, although we don't really know. I mean, we'll see what they do with this conference June 5th to the 8th. Start us today. Now, next stock ticker ASST. This is a February 2023 IPO, so a rather new company on the market at a 15 million market cap, 2.91 million float, great share structure. The ASST CXO said on June 2nd to strap in for next week, and he was talking about basically this week because he said it on June 2nd. So apparently something's coming for ASST according to you know a board member of the company. So keep an eye on that. Next stock ticker MGRX at a 23 million market cap, a 6.7 million float. They posted a tweet five hours ago. They're preparing for some press and some amazing updates as promised. And then they're going to continue to bring commercials. And then they're preparing to increase corporate communications. So apparently there's some press coming for MGRX. This is another beaten down IPO. It's been looking well lately. So it could potentially, there was an insider buy, I think at exactly a dollar even for MGRX as well. I think they, you know, basically bought that and posted that insider buy so the stock wouldn't go below a dollar. Smart move, but it's looking good. Hopefully we get some good news from this company. Now, this is an OTC stock, ticker VAPR. Some of you may already be familiar with this one. This one had a nice run in the past at a 5.3 million market cap. Their company Twitter page posted 10 days until. You can see literally just 10 days until. To me, this sounds like they're hinting at some sort of upcoming news. And like I said, I could see VAPR having a decent move you know, leading up to that news. But if it's not good news, it could go down when they actually post the news. So keep an eye on VAPR. It's an OTC stock with a lot of potential right now. Make sure you get your free C3 AI stock. Look, five free stocks, $100 cash reward, and a C3 AI stock. If you use my link, sign up and deposit $100. Do it right now. Join the private Discord for big runners every single day. Drop a like on the video. That's it for me. Peace.